Hi guys, this video is to help you with submitting documents to turnitin.com. You'll notice I've already typed a essay, in this case just a paragraph, and now it's time for me to submit it to turnitin.com. Here's my essay, it's a Google Doc. I'm going to click on a new tab up here and simply start with Google. And I can Google turnitin.com automatically comes up because Mr. Krause goes there so many times a day because I love it. It's turnitin.com, pretty easy to find. While I'm here, guys, as a member of Downey Unified School District, this is a particular resource that most of your teachers should be using. So go ahead and make it a favorite. If you click this button up here, it will automatically add to this favorites bar and so you can in the future just click here and it'll take you right to turnitin.com to log it so what are we looking for oops a little technical glitch there we are looking for the opportunity to log in and it is right about uh, there it is a little bit hidden Mr. Krause shrinks the video so that it doesn't take too much if you don't have an account you simply scroll down and create an account uh, it'll prompt you for an email address it is always recommended and safest to use your school Google email um, and that is how you will recover a forgotten or lost password. Mr. Krause obviously has an account, so it's time for me to do some fast typing. Boom, and I click log in. So here it is. Um, <clears throat> this is what my teacher page looks like, which is what you guys don't need. So let's log out and log in with a student account. I apologize. Brianna. All right, so I logged in with a student account. Uh, here's the class ID that you might need to look up for. And then um, <clears throat> your English teacher might have a password set up and should have shared it with you guys. And so she needs to submit, this particular student, a crap reflection paragraph. So she clicks submit. And then single file upload um, is the option you want. The other option that might be up there is cut and paste. Uh, for Mr. Krauss, I prefer single file upload. And then you scroll down. And you're going to select whichever way you are uploading it. For this one, as earlier mentioned, it was a Google Doc from your Google Drive account. So quickly give it a title with the student's name. More fast typing. I click on Google Drive. Need to let Google, or excuse me, turnin.com have permission to my Google. And then I need to select the file, aptly named Crap Reflection. Sometimes it's not sure if you want to select it, so just click one way, then click back, click select. And you're almost done. Just click upload, this button right here. read the banner on the screen tells you some interesting factoids and screenshot that's it guys that's how you do it just make sure you click confirm all right so that was fast and easy make sure you scroll up top make sure you see this wonderful banner it says you are or not you but your paper is submitted it is complete Thank you. This has been Mr. Krauss. Hope you've enjoyed Turnitin.com submission how-to video. Good night. Good luck. See you on the next school day.